Alright, first first new queen of the day. We got Patchy Arms. Just immediately a hundred points. There we go. No more skills can be more. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, queen number two. Got Koatlas legs. So we're like Quetzalcoatl and Quetzalcoatlus, like two different species, or or did fossil fighters? Or just write down the wrong spelling. Did fossil fires just add that extra US? Oh man, it's Quetzalcoatl, oh but, from the United States! Oh, great vortex is available, huh? 8% in rage chance. Anyway, let's see what this water type is. Oh, I forgot to pause the video. Too late now, I guess I'm talking over this cleaning. Hopefully. I mean, I guess it's not too late to just like... Pause, but oh, like that's effort, sort of, not really. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal of this. I could easily just like reach over, and be like, yeah, shift F9, and for a bit. Like heck, I could even just press a start to pause the in. Pause the game while I actually pause the recording. But no, I decided not to do any of that. Anyway, what I get a hundred points on? Electro legs. Oh god, I counted. There's 14 new fossils right now, and then. There's also like three new dig sites available as well. Anyway, Electro now has poison breath. So there's guaranteed super poison. Also, there we go. Another hundred points. I'm gonna roll today, apparently. And there's Coatlas Arms. Just missing 100 points on the body. Too bad I don't care enough. Blow away. Knock enemy to the escape zone. So, pr pretty good skill to have. And with the hundred points, despite having that nice green finger there, electro arms. Just I feel like I broke that, but it counts as a hundred, so who am I to complain? I guess. All right, electro doesn't have any more skills to learn. Yeah, with another hundred points. Yes, this is Shoney Legs. Seriously, I got a lot of points on Shoney. Law of the Jungle. Oh. 
damage allies to heal self. Alright, let's see what's next. So it turns out Ying Ying rocks are kind of bastards. So I only got 83 points on these Sucho legs. Wait. Wait, who the fuck is Sucho? Um. Hmm. Well, that's new. Smashing success! 97 points on what looks like Stygy legs. Okay. Yeah, I guess I got the Sucho fossil from the mine tunnels over in Rivet Ravine. So I guess that must just be the rare fossil there. Oh great, does that mean I don't actually have both Nassar pieces? Great. Fiendish Missile, just still low damage. But also low cost. And 96 points on... Nassar Arms. There we go. Toxic Chitter? Huh. I think this might have been AoE in Champions. Oh well. So I'm gonna say this right now. Do not use the X-Ray on white rocks. Eh. Unless you just want to kill your eyes off real fast. But hey, 98 points on these Megalo legs. Like, seriously. It's like getting used to Discord's like dark theme and then just one day being like, I'm going to try out the light thing. Theme. At midnight, with no lights on in my room. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hey, wait, no breath. It's a scare move. And scare just locks random moves. 100 points on. Digi arms. And almost a full 400 on Stigi. And no more skills. Alright, 93 points on a last moth legs. Alright, he knows getting parts. Phobia beam. Scare move. Yay. And with 97 points, looks like it's probably just the last moth arms. Yep. Yay. Apparently they got one battle point that's somewhere. I don't remember ever putting them on the team, but okay. Flame. Ray, raise attack. And a uh, hundred points. Probably another Megalo piece since it was white. Yep, there's arms. And 
And there we go, that's the last of the new fossils in my case. Which means... Power scale. That's an interesting one. Equal Equalize FP with the enemy. So basically, the FP values of both you and your enemy are added together and then split evenly between both of you. So it's an interesting move. Of course, first that's after you spend 50 to use the skill. So it's like if you have 50, 50 FP left, your her enemy he has like max FP. He you basically just steal half their FP. It's real nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and drop off the rest of my rocks. And yeah, I need to go search for an Asaur off screen again. Which means I should probably make note of that. Okay, notes taken. Let's go ahead and head towards one of the new dig sites. So first one actually opened up during the previous chapter, I just neglected to visit it. Greenhorn Plains. Or at least it's in Greenhorn Plains. Okay, go all the way back to the trash zone. For now... Hey there, sir. This site is a pay-to-dig area! A fee is 3,000 gold. Would you like to enter? Yes. Thank you and happy digging. Alright, so this... So there, now there's real fossils here. As you can see, I'm already picking up new stuff because there's only going to be new stuff here. just gonna be a lot of digging. Holy crap, there's a lot more rocks here than I was expecting. Maybe I should have saved up for that next case upgrade. Maybe before coming here. Oh boy. And then suddenly a fire! Oh, I think there's like two fires, two earths, and a neutral here. Couldn't even make it one of each type just to make it easier to tell which ones you have, huh? I kind of wonder if, like, each dig site corresponds to a different country in terms of what fossils you can find. So that would be neat. Oh boy, will I have enough of case space to carry all these? Or will I have to start blindly throwing some out? Just to try and hope I get every piece in one go.
I might actually be fine. I'm going to take a guess and say I have two case slots left. I was right. Only three fire rocks. And they are three different rocks, so... Still, that's... I definitely have to go back. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess first things first, it's cleaning time. So, see you when I'm done Or see you at the next part integration, I guess. Alright, first fossil, 95 points. And I've got Neo Legs. But I don't have the head yet. Please hit yes before I do things. Alright, and this Earth body is 92 points. And also Karchar body. Hey, it's the Nose Dino f well, that Sniffles uses. Found him. Alright, 93 points. On Centro Arms. I don't remember what Centro is. 87 points on these. Carno Legs. Not revive it yet, though. 97 points. On Karchar legs. Still not the head, though. So this was a fucking mess. I got 73 points on the Karno head. At least we can finally revive something. Hmm, that's not what I thought it was. Well, there we go, Carnal Revival is successful! Let's go ahead and bring in the legs. Not highly compatible with other Vivisaurs, Carno is a lone wolf that can take on even fire types once it learns knock skills. Well, it already has, so good for me, I guess? Don't have very much defense for being a lone wolf. But hey, here's Carno. <laughs> Alright, and with 96 points, got Carno Arms. Yay, another integration. And with that, you're gonna learn... Headbutt. Which is another knock skill. This time it's guaranteed to work. Hooray! Alright, another smashing success, 97 points. Got an Andrarch head. Which is, I guess, the one fire type of this zone. Because I thought Karno was going to be a fire type. There we go, we've got the Hellhound. And we only have the head for the Hellhound. The link ability allows Andrarch to link blows together with teammates' attacks. Psychritic or Raid is icing on the cake. Yep. Really wish they had a tab to just show what their passive abilities are. 
but nope, I don't think they... Like, I think in Champions they show their passives in the skills as like a sixth skill. But... In this game, there's some um, Vivasars that just don't even tell you what passives they have in the... Not even in the description. Like, you just get to be surprised. Which is unfortunate. Because there's just so many and... It's actually kind of a short... It's kind of a short game, so you're not gonna like level up. You're not gonna have much time to try out very many. Like... There's just gonna be so many that you're not gonna use, so... Oh, unless you see something you like, you're probably just not gonna use them. Plus, this first game does not have... ...very much skill variety going on. I'm definitely feeling like I remember Champions better than this game right now. Despite having only played Champions once and the first game many times. Guess it just left that great of an impression on me, huh? huh? 94 points! With Neo Body. Don't have the head yet, though. And 96 points for Andrark Legs. Here we go. More. Only attack and defense increased, huh? I guess the other two stats are accuracy and evasion, so... Sure hope those don't need to scale very much. Got dire combo though. So this terrible mess at 70 points happened. It's the Centro body. Great. So I guess Centro's gonna be a Tricera family. Yep. Revival. Oh my god, it's got the Megalo eyes. Megalo derp eyes. Wait a second. This shows horns coming out above the eyes, but this doesn't. Yeah, we did not get the legs before revival. Central's high critical rate is balanced by its terrible accuracy. Support it well and be rewarded. Parting blow helps its utility. Uh, parting blow when you're is when you're low on health, you gain attack and accuracy boost. Oh my god! Yeah, that accuracy is. Garbage. And the problem with percent increases is that it's not going to get much better by supporting accuracy, which means you're better off of debilitating enemy evasion instead. Like he does. Wow. What moves do you have? Standard moves and then and rage move. Yay! Oh my God, is it possible? An actual perfect one hundred? 
Rapid? Haven't seen one of those in a while. Karcher arms. I still don't have the Karcher head, wow. Alright, and I'm guessing this is the last Centro piece. Centro legs, yep. And no more skills could be learned. Oh. So they're already at their height. Oh well. And here we have an Androark body with a hundred points. Let's put it on the shelf. Dire Fury! Oh. So I guess you're... I guess your big thing is Link and Crit Chance. Huh. Not that exciting then. And here we go. I, with 98 points... This is the Neo Head. Yeah, we get one more revival. But it's nah, we're not reviving Karchar this trip. And there we go, we've got the Nike shoe. Let's go ahead and integrate the body and accidentally skip everything because I clicked too fast. Got the body and legs integrated. Neo has weak defense at low ranks. Integrate a few parts before bringing it to battle. Excite foes prevent movement. I mean you still got more defense than Karno. I don't know, this is just a very... I don't know, I kind of just remember this being a very basic dino. It's just like, yeah, they just kind of exist, don't really have any special strategies with them. Though I guess they've got Excite. So they're good with a poison team. Except not really because it's so low success rate. And I believe that's the last of the news, yep. Yep, that's everything. Alright, let's go ahead and throw clean the rest of the rocks then. And let's see, how are we doing on leveling you up? Three more cleanings, okay. Donation point total is 768. Wow. I could max out Compso. But I'll do that in a bit. For now, let's check out the next new dig site. We're just going to be over in Rivet Ravine. Alright, so it's going to be up this first bridge and over at the 
bottom right, here it is. So if you go on the wiki, this will be listed as bonus area 1. Okay, here's an idea. Face off boss bell, winner keeps the rock. Brilliant, huh? Uh... Bonus area 2 is not open yet, but the wiki does not state when it opens, so... I guess you just gotta check back later. I fucked so many of these trying to uh, get all the news for this area, and then I didn't even get the Nas the last Nassar piece. Like seriously. Salty. I guess probably not as salty as McDonald's french fries, but hey. Then again, McDonald's is probably long reduced the amount of, s amount of salt all they put in their stuff due to the cost of everything going up. Due to just all the goddamn political madness is happening ever since... I don't know, I feel like the main cost increased ha just kind of started with Obamacare. And then just kept going up from there. <laughs> 